So here you see, I mean, it's properly in the woods. The path to it up is just this little tiny dirt track. So I'm going in for the first time here. You're seeing everything at the same time as me. So we've got a bit of collapsing ceiling over there. I'm a big fan of doing the old urbex. Back in England I did, did uh, loads of it with me and Amy. Went in bomb factories and all sorts of things like that. We've got a nice bit of graffiti over here. In a minute I'm going to have to take some nice photos of this. this is, there's some very, very cool stuff here. Got an old fireplace there. Some, oop. Spooky spiral staircase there. I almost fell through the ground there. That was what that warp was. The ground went beneath me. So I don't know if I'm going to venture up there myself today. If I had someone with me, I probably would. But as I'm all alone, I think it might be a bit brave. I have some spooky dark corridors here. So this, just so you know, is just outside Sluice. Yeah, that looks very sketchy, that bit of floor that's fallen there. Let's try going around here instead. There's that fireplace. That's that room that we were in a second ago. Oh, wow. Got to be careful here, guys. It's shit falling everywhere. Way. I'm actually surprised that metal staircase it doesn't actually look too bad. Let's, let's, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. Like, I mean, we'll see how we go. Looks more stable than the rest of the building at the moment. Oop. I'm going to jump up and down on it, see what happens. Oh, it's solid as a rock, mate. Up we go. I've seen no entrance to this. Yeah, we're still solid here. We're still solid. See no entrance to the basement as of yet. But I think we'll get some very nice views from here. So there's nowhere for me to go from these stairs, but you get a little view of that. Crikey. So apparently this is an old abandoned monastery, this. Don't know when it's from, or much about it. Oh look, there's another building over here as well. Hidden in the bushes, we'll go and investigate that. I'm just gonna pause it while I get in. Oh no, there's another flight here. It's still feeling solid, so we'll go on up. Oh shit, no it's not, no it is not. We're not, oh. You can see it there wobbling. That level is no good. We're going back down, guys. We're going back down. I'm going to pause it and I'll get to, when we get to the new area, I'll start it again. So we're back now on the ground floor. Oh, trying to find a way into this spooky basement. I'm kind of worried about this floorboards here. But... Right. It seems like we've got to take this door over here, guys. Underneath the ropey floor. Uh, underneath the ropey ceiling. Oh crikey, wow. I don't know about this guys. As I said, if I, if I had someone with me. I might go see if I can get in from the other side. I'm gonna pause it again and see what we can get to from the outside. I have noticed that there is a little bit of a doorway here, so let's see what we can get. More collapsed ceiling in here. 
So we're gonna quietly, oh fucking hell, try and edge through here. Christ. There you have the basement area. I see there is an entrance just there, so. Because I don't fancy jumping down that, that's quite a big uh, jump there. But this looks like it would have been the actual chapel. Some spooky vibes to it, guys. Some spooky vibes, I'm not going to lie. It would be a bit easier if I wasn't here on my ones. There's some more shots of him there. Right, I'll pause it and I'm going to try, as I say, and find my way down to here. Because as I walked in here, there were some guys coming in themselves and they said that it was super, super spooky down there. So I'm going to see what it said. Be right back. Right, so we're now back on the outside and I'm walking around. I mean, this is a massive, massive complex. Oh. There's some um, type of, it looks like boiler works down there. Can I turn my light on? I don't think I can turn the light on. I don't have a flashlight with me guys, unfortunately. So I can't improve that for you. Oh, actually I do, I do once. Right, okay, we've got the flashlight out now, guys. So what we've got here looks like some boiler works and it's all completely flooded around it. And there's some And it looks like it's all flooded in that back room down there as well. I don't know what exactly is going on. But yeah, obviously, I don't have anything, any wellies or anything like that, so I can't go in this bit. But I'm going to go around, keep going around. So, we're now around another side of it, looking in some more windows. And we have children's toys, pentagrams, drawn in the ground. So yeah, I'd say... I'd agree with these guys that it's quite a, quite a spooky little sh shit show down here. So this is just outside of Sluice now, but just in the middle of the w woods, this, this place, so... Let's see how much adventuring we can do down here. It looks a bit fucking sketchy, I'm not going to lie to you. Abandoned monastery, pentagrams, yeah, it's got all the sh shibago, mate, it's got all the shibago. Anyway, well, let's go see what we can uh, work out here, guys. So continuing on around the building, I found another building and that other building that we saw earlier. So that's the window that we were just looking through a second ago down there. So I'm going to start with this building here. We'll go have a look in here. Bloody glad I brought this torch, eh? Start off looking through this window. If you hear that noise in the background, it appears that there's a hot air balloon going on <laughs> above me right now. So that's what that is. Okay, so that's a fallen staircase there. So we have collapsing ceilings here again. Let me see if I switch this onto the other mode, I might get... There we go, that's a bit better, look at that. I'm very trepidant about where I walk, because I have no idea if there's basements here. There's a basement in the other building. But yeah, I have no idea how safe any of this is. And there's the other room that we looked through the window, some type of fire. There's that staircase. That's just that room again. It appears to be a bathroom. And another bathroom. So nothing too interesting here, nothing too interesting. Let's get back to the other buildings. So now I'm going to try and approach this one here. Let's see, let's see what we've been getting. Mm, nice and easy again. Lovely, bit of collapsed ceiling for us again in here. Some old abandoned fridge. This is going to be so cool for photography in a minute though, guys. A 
as I say, just being very careful. See, because of the, this is a monastery, I have no idea. I mean, is that a bath? Is it, what are the, there seems to be three of these. Is this for, God knows. The only reason I know it's a monastery is because the guys that were leaving said so. That's probably a very ropey staircase. I don't think I'm going to be taking that. And another building, another room with abandoned, with a collapsing ceiling. Okay. Sorry for the length of this urbex video. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna end up putting it on as a separate one, just because it's so long. But for people that are interested. But yeah. Right. Oh, God. Just said sorry about that. Didn't mean to sound like a big girl, but I had a giant spider on my arm. And senses are heightened up in this place. Right, I'm going to pause it and we'll join going into the basement of this. So we've now seemed to have found the entrances into these basements. So, yeah. And then there's this staircase here, which is... Mighty spooky also, so I'll try and... Let's try the staircase first, see where that goes. See, it goes to... Oh, shit. A collapsed ceiling. Or a collapsed floor, however you want to think about that, guys. So I'm guessing we were over there a minute ago, because that's a the basement. There's the pentagram as well down there. You can't see it, I don't think. Maybe you can. Okay, right, now these three lads said that it felt very spooky down here in the basement when they came in a minute ago. Let's see what I think to it. That's a bit better. So this is barricaded. We've got the old pentagram, some spooky shit. And I don't even know, are they doors or something? I don't even know. Apparently we can Instagram 666, that's, that's uh, what's going on here. Let's have a quick answer this. So that's the pentagram guys. And some weird spooky toy. I think they were just a bunch of big babies, really. Three lads, three grown lads. Come on, boys. Right, but that is me done there, though, because that is completely flooded. So that's going around to the flooded bunker basement that we saw around the other side. So it's a shame, but I can't take us any further, guys. OK, I'm going to stop now, do some proper photography of this place. Because uh, it's sick as hell, but uh, yeah, I'm because this is so long, but it's also cool. I'm gonna I'll add this as a second to the vlog. Like I might take a little clip of it and put it in there, but uh, yeah, like it's too long to to include the normal vlog. A vu guys. So yeah, thank you very much. See you.